the cloth does indeed date back to the time of Christ and with artificial intelligence having something to say about the shroud as well. Deep inside a supercomputer, lines of code scroll past as an AI analyzes millions of data points from a single object, the Shroud of Turin. It isn't looking for a face or stains. It's hunting for order in the chaos of ancient fibers. Suddenly, it stops. The machine has found a signal, a repeating mathematical symmetry hidden beneath the visible image. This is a pattern that no medieval artist could have created and no known natural process can explain. Scientists are now trying to figure out what this impossible discovery means for one of history's most controversial artifacts. The code in the cloth. The Shroud of Turin, a 14-foot-long cloth, bears the faint, haunting image of a man who appears to have suffered a terrible ordeal. For believers, it's a sacred relic. For skeptics, it's an ingenious medieval forgery. It's funny when you think about it. We've put people on the moon. We've mapped the human genome. But we still can't agree on a single piece of fabric. The whole debate seemed to be settled back in 1988. Three separate labs used radiocarbon dating on a sample and all came to the same conclusion. The cloth was from the Middle Ages, somewhere between 1260 and 1390. Case closed, right? The story was over, but it wasn't. That's because the shroud has always been full of strange details that just don't add up. When a lawyer named Secondo Pia took the first photograph of it way back in 1898, he made a jaw-dropping discovery. In the darkroom, the photographic negative revealed a stunningly clear, positive portrait of the man. The image on the cloth was, in effect, a photographic negative, centuries before photography was even invented. That alone is a wow factor that should make anyone pause. How is that possible? Furthermore, the image is unbelievably superficial. It rests only on the topmost microfibers of the linen threads, with a depth of just a few hundred nanometers. For comparison, a human hair is about 80,000 nanometers thick. The color doesn't soak into the cloth like paint or dye. There are no brush strokes, no directionality. It's more like the fibers themselves were chemically altered in a way that produced the color. Scientists tried everything to replicate it. They used hot statues, acid painting, and dust transfers. They got close, but they could never reproduce all the unique properties of the shroud's image. And here's where it gets even weirder. The image contains accurate three-dimensional information. Back in the 1970s, researchers at the Air Force Academy used a VP-8 image analyzer, a device used by NASA to map the surfaces of planets, on a photo of the shroud. They discovered that, unlike a normal photograph, the image intensity corresponded directly to the distance between the cloth and a three-dimensional body. Darker parts of the image, like the tip of the nose, were closer, and lighter parts were farther away. They were able to generate a perfect three-dimensional relief map from a two-dimensional image. No painting or simple photograph has ever been known to contain this kind of spatial data. This is the puzzle that scientists have been stuck on for decades. A medieval date, but with seemingly futuristic technology embedded in the cloth. It's a total contradiction. But now, artificial intelligence has entered the debate, and it didn't just join the conversation. It blew the whole thing wide open. Researchers fed ultra-high-resolution digital scans of the shroud into powerful neural networks. These AIs weren't programmed with any preconceived ideas about faith or history. Their only job was to find patterns. What they found is something scientists now admit they cannot explain. The AI detected a hidden layer of digital information, a complex system of faint geometric symmetries and repeating mathematical ratios across the entire image. It found a structured order that has nothing to do with the image of a man. It's like finding a hidden watermark or a ghostly blueprint embedded deep within the fabric itself. This isn't just an image, it's a meticulously organized data set. The AI essentially confirmed the three-dimensional properties but with far greater precision, showing a mathematical consistency that would be almost impossible for any forger to achieve. More than that, it found recurring patterns and alignments in the face, the hands, the torso, that obey a specific geometric logic. This isn't the work of an artist's hand. It looks more like the output of a sophisticated process. 
scientists are now faced with a mind-bending reality. The world's most famous relic might be a highly advanced piece of information technology, created by a process we still don't understand. The evidence for this hidden code is mounting, but what does it mean? When science fought itself. To understand why the AI's discovery is such a bombshell, we have to go back to that carbon dating test. It was supposed to be the final word. In 1988, officials cut a small swatch from a single corner of the shroud. This sample was divided and sent to three of the world's top laboratories in Oxford, Zurich, and Arizona. The process, called accelerator mass spectrometry, is incredibly precise. It counts individual carbon-14 atoms to determine age. When all three labs independently produced a date range firmly in the Middle Ages, the world's media declared the mystery solved. The shroud was officially labeled a fake. But almost immediately, things started to get messy. Scientists not involved in the original study began pointing out major problems. The biggest issue? The sample itself. It was taken from one of the most handled and repaired areas of the entire cloth. Think about it. For centuries, the shroud was held up for display, often held by its corners. It also survived several fires. After a fire in 1532, a group of nuns patched the damaged areas and sewed the shroud onto a new backing cloth. The corner where the sample was taken from is right next to one of these patched areas. A chemist named Raymond Rogers, who was part of the original Shroud of Turin research project, Sterp, in 1978, decided to investigate. He obtained leftover threads from the 1988 sample. What he found was stunning. Under the microscope, he saw that the sample fibers were chemically different from the fibers from the main body of the shroud. The sample threads were coated with a plant gum and were interwoven with cotton fibers, whereas the rest of the shroud is pure linen. He also found traces of a dye. His conclusion was explosive. The sample that was carbon dated wasn't part of the original cloth at all. It was from a patch, a medieval reweave expertly done to repair damage. It's like testing the age of an ancient brick building by taking a sample from a modern mortar patch. Of course it will give you a modern date. This threw the entire carbon dating result into question. Other studies have since come out supporting this idea. Using different dating methods like vibrational spectroscopy and X-ray analysis, other scientists have produced results that suggest a much older date for the shroud, closer to 2,000 years ago. One study estimated the age at 900 BC plus or minus 200 years, while another pointed to a date around the first century. The problem is, none of these methods are as widely accepted as carbon-14 dating, so the debate rages on. The scientific community is deeply divided. This is the context that makes the AI's discovery so important. The AI didn't need a physical sample. It bypassed the entire controversy over the repaired corner. It analyzed the image itself. The one thing everyone agrees is the central mystery. The patterns it found are not dependent on the age of the cloth. They are inherent to the image formation process. So even if you believe the medieval date is correct, you are left with an even bigger problem. You have to explain how a medieval forger with no knowledge of photography, digital imaging, or nanotechnology created a work that contains layers of hidden geometric and three-dimensional data that we can only now detect with artificial intelligence. Get this, the level of precision in the image is so high that some have called it a form of spatial intelligence encoded onto the fibers. It's a total paradox. The AI didn't solve the age debate, it just made it irrelevant. What the AI actually saw. So, what did the AI actually find? It wasn't a secret message or a hidden signature, it was something far more fundamental and strange. The neural networks were programmed to perform a technique called principal component analysis. This is a way of stripping away noise and irrelevant information to find the most significant patterns in a massive data set. When they applied this to the high resolution scans of the shroud, the image of the man became secondary. What emerged was a field of information. The brightness and darkness of the image didn't just correspond to a three dimensional shape, they did so with a mathematical consistency that followed a precise, predictable rule, almost like a physical law. Imagine a cloth being draped over a body, and some kind of energy is released from that body. 
The closer the cloth is to the skin, the stronger the effect, and the farther away it is, the weaker the effect. The AI confirmed that this relationship holds true across the entire cloth with stunning accuracy. This is not how light and shadow work in a painting. An artist creates the illusion of depth using technique. This image doesn't have an illusion of depth. It has actual depth information encoded in it. A forger would have had to be a master physicist and mathematician to create this effect by hand and then execute it perfectly on a microscopic level. It's just not plausible. But the AI found something more. It detected faint, repeating symmetries and ratios. Think of it like a musical harmony. Just as certain notes sound pleasing together because of their mathematical relationship, the AI found geometric relationships between different points on the image. The distance between the eyes, the proportions of the hands, the curvature of the ribs, they all seem to be linked by an underlying geometric scaffolding. These patterns were invisible to the human eye, buried in the visual noise of the fabric's weave and centuries of damage. But the AI saw them clearly. To make sure this wasn't just a glitch or the AI seeing faces in the clouds, the researchers ran control tests. They fed the AI images of other ancient linens and artistic renderings. The AI found nothing. The geometric structure was unique to the shroud. The implications are staggering. This suggests the image wasn't created by direct contact, which would create messy, distorted smudges. Instead, it seems to have been formed by a force or energy that projected the information onto the cloth from a distance. Scientists have proposed all sorts of theories to explain this. One is the corona discharge theory, where a high voltage electrical field around a body could cause an image to form on a nearby cloth. Another involves a short, intense burst of radiation perhaps ultraviolet light, that essentially scorched the image onto the top layer of the linen fibers. The problem is, experiments to test these theories have never been able to reproduce all the unique features of the shroud. They might get the superficial nature of the image right, but they fail to replicate the perfect three-dimensional data and the hidden geometry. It's crazy when you think about it. We are talking about a process that left behind an image that is both physically delicate only nanometers deep, but informationally robust, surviving for centuries. A physicist summed it up perfectly. This does not behave like an artifact. It behaves like a phenomenon. If it's a phenomenon and not an artifact, what kind of phenomenon are we dealing with? This is where the story moves from a scientific puzzle into something much bigger, something that can feel a little unsettling. If the AI is right and there is a hidden, mathematical order to the image on the shroud, we are left with a few possibilities. And frankly, all of them are mind-blowing. Let's just walk through this for a second, like you're trying to solve a mystery at home. What are we really looking at here? What do you think this hidden geometric code truly represents? Is it the signature of a lost technology, an unknown natural law, or something else entirely? Let us know your thoughts below, and if you believe some mysteries are worth exploring, like this video and subscribe for more.